1917, the president would have risen as the parliament, the Senate, to, to declare a war on Germany. And I think that most of you are endorsing the president now. And I understand that. And I see that that's really nice in terms of the in terms of the anger towards Germany. They attacked our civilian ship, civilian ship named Lusitania, and brutally slaughtered the 128 of our citizens. And it was, without no doubt, it was a brutal kind of slaughter on our civilians and the attack on our also, also, they were trying to send a paragraph to Mexico and tried to kind of try to ally with Mexico and attack our country. And I'm sure that most most of you, including me and most of the American, it would be kind of angry towards Germany. And I think that it is kind of, it is natural. However, let's consider this. Let's consider how much America will be sacrificed if they enter the war. Consider how destructive and brutal the war in Europe is. In the Battle of Song, which is just a battle, about 600,000 people, 600,000 soldiers were sacrificed in the French and the United Kingdom side. And what they got was the, just a proceed for just six months. So they had to sacrifice 100,000 people in order to just go one mile. Yeah. And therefore, the soldiers need to die, rather die, in their trenches and on the no man's land by the machine guns and the gases and the bombs. They were torn and bombed and died and then died. And what they got was their land, a tiny little bit of land that is not even enough to occupy their corpses and to make tombs of them. It is meaningless. The war of in the the war and the sacrifice due to the war is entirely meaningless in the Europe. Why, for the best sake, do we have to send our youngs, our future, our next 10, 20, and 30 years to the Europe to die like that way? To defend our defend our country from the threat of Germany? That doesn't make sense because of these reasons. First of all, because every single leader Every single horse is covered by trenches on the Western Front. It is impossible to a country to kind of overwhelm other power or other country and win a victory or retreat their power, retreat their power safely in order to attack our country, attack other countries or other places or survive. And it is same to them because they they cannot win the war in the trenches. And they can neither they can neither attack us because they cannot retreat the army from the trenches as they can they cannot win the war against the entire Europe because of the trenches. And therefore, if we aid the and I think that this war would act uh, would, would continue until one side collapses first. So let's change our mind this way. If we act the Great Britain and France, so that they can sustain their country and sustain their war, then we'll be able to defend our country. And then, because German goods can inevitably collapse because of their lack of resources that they can use in the war, so we can, so in that way, we can protect our country from the threat of Germany without sacrificing any other Americans in the war. And that's the reason that I'm against. The war. Ah, my sir, the John Johnson, the member of the Senate of the United States, is against sending our army to the to the Western Front. And I request to you, to you senators, to put down the request of the president for uh, for us uh, for the enter of our country into the devastating and devastating and meaningless war. Thank you very much.